Hello, this is Mad Pistol with another uh, with another tutorial using piston doors. Now, the last one that I did, we had a a switch lock which locked uh, both sides of the doors, uh, which basically turned off uh, the pressure plates. So the pressure none of the pressure plates would work. So I'm using the same system this time. So as you can see, the pressure plates don't work. So we're gonna have to go around. So let's go ahead and fly around. And let's see. Whoa! Pressure plates work. That's not supposed to happen. Wait a second. Pressure plates work. Wow, that's really cool. What about this side? Do they work? Whoa! Hello. I'm locked out. What the heck? Okay. Let's see. There's a switch right here. Let, let's hit that and let's see what happens. Okay. Let's push there. Come across. It didn't close on me. What? Oh my gosh, doesn't close. Well, that's pretty cool. If I flip that switch, close on me. I'm locked out. Good go good God. <laughs> so as you can imagine, uh, that's not by accident. I actually designed it that way to be open from one direction when the switch is on. But yet, if you uh, step on the pressure pads from the other side, it won't work. So flip that switch. You can open it from both sides. Flip the switch again and you are now locked out. Let's show you how I did that. Let's go ahead and do it from the uh, on position. So first thing, same thing, we have a switch going over, but this time we've done a little bit, we've done something a little bit different. The The switches are no longer connected, obviously. Uh, if they were connected, it wouldn't work. Um, so we actually have one switch for each side. The, uh, the first set of switches, it's very simple. From this side, it's just a it's just a pressure pad door. It goes uh, directly into the actuators and the door opens each time the pressure pads put on. Now that's from the side with the switch on it. The switch crosses over to the other side and now we have a mechanism like you saw in the other video where you, you had a, uh, a lock. But instead of locking both doors, you it only locks one side. So now we have uh, basically two mechanisms in one. We have a simple opening door and a uh, simple uh, pressure pad opening door and then we have a lock mechanism uh, pressure pad door. So let's go ahead and go over here and recreate it and you can see right there that's where the pressure pads are and this is the crossover point. This crosses over to the other side. Let's go ahead and go try this at our uh, creation area. I've already left it open so that we don't have to spend a lot of time building stuff. It's kind of an open slate. As you can see we've already got the, the pressure pad uh, stuff laid out. So we're going to put the switch on this side. So we're going to go ahead and line that with a uh, redstone. Just line it straight right there. And then line, whoops, line it right up here. There we go. To prove that it works, step on it, opens. And it's always going to do that from now on. So now we're going to create a switch to the other side. Let's go ahead and do a traditional switch setup. Just going into the ground, just like that and then we're going to bring it across. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put a switch down right there. And now we're going to run it to the other side. Now at this point I'm going to go ahead and put in a repeater because it's not going to make it to the other side. Let's go ahead and do that. That's a weird glitch. I wonder why it does that. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and set this up correctly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this one out. We have to do this due to uh, space constraints. Okay. So, here we go, and now we're going to, let's see, Oop. here we go, and now we're going to move it this way, and put down a redstone torch right here, and what this is going to do is cause now you're going to have the, the redundant switches again, or you're going to have three uh, redstone torches instead of one, just like we showed in the uh, the other video. Uh, go check that out if you haven't already seen it and you don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so now that one's been, uh, whenever that one's activated, it will defeat this one, uh, thereby rendering it useless. So now we have to run it to the other side. Nice thing about this setup is we don't have to use uh, another repeater. We only have to use one repeater. And it's all done underground. So except for a couple of pieces, you can just have it, um, you can just have it set up uh, perfectly. So, okay, that should do it. Um, let's go over here and let's see what happened. So, let's see. Good. Now this is off, 
So technically we should be able to step on this side and it's still on. Now what's cool is with this setup you can actually see it kind of switch over when I stepped over here. So I'm going to step off this one. There we go. Now watch. I step on this. You can see a redstone torch is right there and as soon as I step on this one it switches over. And it does that because of the if the repeater's active, it won't, or if the uh, switch is active, it won't switch over, thereby the door will close at that time. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to switch it now, open it just like that, step on here, nothing happens, the door closes, I am now locked out from the other side. Let's review over that again. Switch is off, step on the pressure plates, both sides work. First side, you just, it's simply lined just like a, a, a redstone torch uh, piston door. You have one line going to each door. It's a very simple setup, nothing spectacular about that. Uh, but then we have a switch going to the other side. The other side is set up with a, a three phase uh, piston door where it has to switch two switches before hitting the piston door. And so what happens is that switch defeats that other, um, the switch right here defeats the other uh, the other redstone torches, and thereby leaving it in an on state all the time. So you get on this side, it doesn't work. So you can still step on it on this side, notice how it is on. You get on this other side, doesn't change states, and now we are locked out. Please feel free to review this video at any time. Um, it's really just a combination of technologies into separate sides, but um, um, I hope I didn't make it too overly complicated for you. This is with it off. Switch is off. And now with the switch on. There you go. You are now locked out of your house. I hope you brought a, uh, hope you brought a good uh, diamond pickaxe because you're going to need it. This is Mad Pistol. Thank you for watching.